Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Musty Chess Game from the History of Chess from 1968. And in this chess game we have Igor Platonov with the white pieces and his opponent is Vladimir Savon with the black pieces. Both were strong chess grandmasters from Ukraine and this is A Musty and a beautiful attacking chess game from the good old times. So Igor Platonov starts the game with e4 and we have the Alekhin's defense. One of the most played moves is e5, attacking the knight, but we have knight to c3, d6, and the game is transposing into the priest defense. So d4, g6, bishop to e3, c6, queen to d2, and b5. White played f3, developing the bishop, so far normal moves, castling from the queen side, developing the queen, king to b1, developing the knight, and bishop to h6. White is already pretty aggressive, so exchanging the bishops, and then knight to b6, knight to h3, and in this position, black made a big decision, black decided to give up his bishop and capturing the knight, but capturing back with the queen, so black castled, and queen goes back, and it looks very dangerous, actually, the queen is on h6, very close to the king, but how to proceed, how to make any progress. So we have b4, kicking the knight back, knight to e2, and then c5, g4. So it makes sense, of course, pushing the pawn in the king side. So maybe h4 is on the cards as well. And black is pushing the pawn and... Well, this is actually one of the important moments of the game. It looks like black is targeting the pawn in the center and black is threatening to win a pawn in the center. So maybe white needs to capture the pawn uh, in this position. White played an amazing move. What would you do in this position? Can you guess the next move? This is actually one of the critical moments of this chess game. So can you see the move for white? What would you do? Well, the move is knight to g3 and black realized the danger and black played knight to e8. Can you see the purpose of knight to g3? So in this position, if capturing the pawn, what was the idea of white? Can you see the move? Well, the move was knight to f5 and threatening checkmate how to defend. So if capturing the knight, then we have check, and then capturing the knight, and then capturing the pawn, and how to defend rook to g1, and then checkmate. So that's not going to work. So knight goes back. So after knight to f5, you might ask what happens if knight to e8, then knight to e7, this is check, and then capturing the rook, check, mate, lights out. So, okay, as you can see, knight to g3, it looks like a sneaky move, a very sneaky move, one of the sneakiest moves that you can ever find in a chess game. <laughs> but black realized the danger, and black is defending with the knight. White captured the pawn, d takes on e5, only then capturing the pawn, and it is white to move. Well, white played knight to f5, still getting him with the knight. And threatening checkmate in two moves, knight to e7, moving the king, capturing the rook, checkmate. So defending with the knight, it looks like all of the pieces of black is at the back foot. But in this position, if capturing the knight, then capturing back and how to defend rook check. So if some random move, then we have check and then capturing the rook and this is checkmate. That's very dangerous. So this is why not capturing the knight, not allowing to open the g file which is going to be fatal, so defending with the knight, knight to c8, developing the bishop, a very natural and a normal move, queen to b6, it is white to move, white played a very powerful move in this position, but can you see that move? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? So if I give you a few seconds, can you guess the next move? White played a spectacular move, a winning move on the spot, So, did you see the move? If I give you a few seconds, what would you do in this position? 
Okay, I'm showing the move. If you want, you can also pause the video. Your last chance. So this is the move. Uruk to the six. What a move! Holy cow! Holy shish kebab! <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, in this position, black is defending the queen, queen to c7. But what happens if capturing the rook with the knight, with the e knight? This is the most simple, then checkmate on in one move, getting checkmated, queen to g7. And in this position, if capturing the rook with the c knight, then we have knight to e7, moving the king, capturing the rook, checkmate. So, in this position, rook to d6 is an amazing move. Of course, black didn't want to lose the queen, so defending the queen, queen to c7, and it looks like black is just holding his ground, and now maybe threatening to take the rook with the knight, with the c knight, because there is no knight check, queen is defending, but what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? White played another amazing move, and after that move, Black is in big trouble, so if I give you few seconds, can you see that move as well? Well, this was the art of the attack. Look at this move. Rook takes on g6. Holy cow. Amazing. If moving the king, then capturing the rook, checkmate. So capturing what else? And then queen takes on g6. The f-pawn is pinned. Moving the king, check. And then g5 by Igor Platonov and Vladimir Savon resigned. He was looking exactly like that in that picture at top right. <laughs> he was like, what have I done? That picture, that picture fits perfectly to this chess game, isn't it? So anyway, let me show you the possible continuation. This is almost a sadistic position because Black is only going to watch rolling the pawn, pushing the pawn, and then checkmating the king. So black has to make a move, any move, and then g6. And the pawn is pinned, so capturing the bishop, but check, mate. Amazing attack by Igor Platonov. And did you see some of the key moves in this chess game? So this is a fantastic move, and then rook in, what a move, and then rook sacrifice, what a move again. And then check, the pawn is pinned, check, and then pushing the pawn, and black resigned. Another art of the attack from the history of chess. The art of the attack. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. So take care, and bye-bye.